of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. See, and he that liveth, that's one of the best things to see the fall of your enemy, man. All right, meaning somebody that did you dirty, and you actually get the rid to see him get his. All right, that's a beautiful thing. That's why we read earlier, the righteous men, they desired trying to see the, to see the things we see. To see this devil finally really actually get, get his, man. Because see, because back then, they were looking for it back then. Because remember, the Lord said in, in Matthew, the, uh, was it the third chapter? Right. Since the days of, of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven, suffering, suffering violence, violence, right? The meaning they was catching hell just like right, right now. They were doing, like you got Jake protesting and everything. They were protesting back then. The thing is, they, they lost that knowledge and they don't understand that that was your ancestors because back in Jerusalem, you had the, the Romans, which are these Edomites, these so-called American or, or so-called white people, which are the Edomites. They were putting, laying heavy taxes on our people back then during the time of our Lord. Right. And, and, and they was uh, ramping up the taxes. They were killing, slaying the, uh, the firstborns, trying to trying to catch the Lord, you know, kill the Lord. So we were catching holy hell. You see, back then, they was out there protesting. You had different dudes, uh, uh, different groups set themselves up. You know what I'm saying? They start st try to start rebellions back then. All these things were going going, going on back then. That's why when you read the scriptures, you got to really get into the scriptures of the Bible and, and, and look at it from a realistic perspective, man. It's not a fairy tale book. These are things that was happening, man. And the scriptures tell you there's nothing new under the sun. There it is. Yep, go ahead. Real quick. If you ask these one and not, the things that has been is that which shall be. Oh, that's the spirit. See, the things that have the things which shall be. Wait, you're ready Because you ask these up. one and not, the things that has been is that which shall be. Right, so the things that have been in the past is that which shall be. All right, so that's why they say history repeats itself. Because why? Both sides set things up. Because everything's for a time. Because at that time, all that hell Jake was catching during that time, they thought when they seen that, the Lord, they like, okay, now you coming to get, get us the fuck up out of here. And he, and he told he kept telling them that, now nah, I got to go back to the Father. He said, the night come when no man is going to be able to work. Right. right? And he said, he said, woe unto them that were children in them days. Yep. Because he knew that Jake had to go through it. But that's why a lot of Israelites, they didn't understand that. They try to say that, nah, this can't be the, the son of the Messiah. Lord. This ain't the Messiah because he ain't, the Messiah is supposed to come and save us. Right. They didn't know that that was talking about future, 2,000 some right. years in the future, in our time that we're in now. Right. So that's why the Apostle Paul, he understood. Right. He said, look, the that, that, that they ain't going to come unless they come a fall in the way first. But they showed you what the, the, the uh, temperature was at that time. Right. Everybody was eager. The first thing. They said to Yahweh Shai when he came back, right, when he ascended, they said, well, thou now at this time, restore the kingdom, right? They, they, were, they, were looking, they, they was looking for that, that, that redemption, man, because Esau was putting hell on Jake back then, just like they're doing right now. They're putting hell on Jake right now. But Jake is just too simple to wake up, and, and, and you know, and plus two, overall, the most High got to wake him up. You know, and that's why we don't, overall, we don't get mad because I mean, we get mad, but not really, because you know that the most high, if he don't wake you up, you're not going to come into the truth, you know? But It says, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. That was it. Quick, quick, quick one. Luke 17 and 22, and he said unto the disciples, the days will come. When ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. Yeah, that's heavy, man. That happened back then. Because they was, you know, it's like, man, we waiting for the hour shot to come. We thought this was God, right? We thought this was that man. And even in this day and age, man, we the same thing. Like, we thought 20 years ago, right, yeah, we were going to be up out of here. You know? I like about stars, so we, that, that scripture do apply to us now because... We really thought we were going to be out of here. He's out there teaching, you know, just like we are now. But the thing is, a lot of guys, what they did is their faith got wrecked. They didn't realize that there was still more things to happen, more prophecy. And the Lord revealed that to us that, nah, we still got more things to go. Certain prophecies got to take place. But now, there's not much left to happen. Market of peace, concentration camps, World War III, the chariots coming. 
which is all pretty much all in one, half in one stroke. Everything is, is all tied together. Huh? That's the last of it. The last of it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Move with them tears, boy. Yeah. Tears about like that kid, bro. <laughs> Run! Run! Okay, y'all. Jaden Run. Go ahead. Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and, and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may one that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right now, what's the vision talking about? It's talking about what? The destruction of America, man. The Lord said, Write the vision upon the table. Which the table we got is the, the Bible, all right? And the Bible is full of prophecies, judgments, all right? Go ahead. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, the appointed time is now. You see, but the two-thirds, two-thirds of these things are going to just die, man. The most eyes going to get rid of the two-thirds because they not, their eyes are not open. They don't see what's going on. Go ahead. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right, you can't lie. They never put it in there. No, it's last. When they last cut off the St. Patrick's Day parade? When did they ever cancel the whole goddamn school year? Right? But you got people that are still, still be simple. Like you had Johanna talk about, well, they, when, they said when the TV came out that that was the, the devil. They said that. They always say stuff. As if the end ain't gonna come. As if prophecy is not rolling along. All right? But as if, in, in, so my whole day is a 12th chapter. We said in day is a 12th chapter that it's gonna be the worst time that there ever was since there ever was a time. So how can you not see that this is the last days, man? Yep. It says, right. Lord Terry, wait for it because. Right, the Lord said, though it Terry, you see, that's what happened. A lot of, a lot of guys couldn't keep waiting. Because they, they had a, 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 in their mind, they had a, a, a schedule. Look, the Lord don't come by this day. You know, I'm, I'm out of here. I had a, a guy told me that. Uh, 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 Carl Thompson. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He back in the spirit world now. But he, to, he told me, man, older Benjamite brother, he, he told me, you know, I was like, man, this is out of his damn mind. He said, man, man when I have to talk, tell you, man, this thing don't happen by the year 2000, man. My wife on a block of line, line block in North Carolina, I'm going to take to it. I'm looking at this dude, man, like, so I understand why the Lord didn't allow it to happen. So you had a lot of grimy niggas, a lot of faithless niggas that would have tried to creep in onto the chariots, man. So the most I said, now nah, I got to dust off the house, man. I dust out the house, get rid of these foul spirits, man. These faithless dogs, you know. There's a lot of, a lot of jakes that didn't have faith, man. And then didn't have the character to admit it, man. Still act like they still in the truth. They still got that, I'm, I'm still in the truth demon on them. Like I ain't never stopped doing the work. Right. I'm doing the work. Only the most, only got, they got the Tupac demon on them. Right. Only God can judge me. Right. right. You know, these brothers can say shit about me. Don't know what I'm doing. I know what you ain't doing. <laughs> Says, don't tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come and will not tarry. See, we, we're supposed to wait. We're supposed to wait. Regardless of whatever it is, whatever suffering you gotta go through, you gotta wait. You know, you gotta wait. Brothers got ailments, brothers got different issues that they go through, living situation changes. But you gotta guess what? You still gotta keep your patience, man. And that's the test, because at the end of the day, it's just a test. You know, sometimes you might be in a situation where you might not feel favorable with the most side or amongst the opposite. You might be like, damn, I'm a wicked ass nigga, all this shit happening. Now, nah, that ain't the case. You're just being tested, man. The scriptures tell you that, man. All right? And they tell you that the most side's going to always leave a way for you to escape with that, that temptation. You know, that you know that everybody go through those temptations, man. You're going to be tried. That's the spirit. I was going to do a, a lesson. I still might do it, but I was meditating on it. There's different levels of being tested, and it's true. It, 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 never, it never stops. You know, like when, when the disciples... Basically, I was going to premise it on disciples 
when they was with Yahweh Shai, he was constantly testing them on different levels. When, when uh, he was trying to have Peter walk out on the water. Right. Right? That was, that was, a, he, was he was testing them. Tempting them. Tempting them. And by, all the way up to, to Judas Iscariot. Right? He said, look, have not I chosen 12 of you? One of you is the devil. Right? <laughs> Right? When he did that, had them sitting there like, oh, who's the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Doubt Question each other. Question each other. He's testing Then he gets to the point where he put it, they down my own. He said, look, the time is going to come with you on the night of the man. He said, no, I'm not going to deny you. He said, man, you put him on the night three times before the cops go. You know? So, so he constantly was like, you're always going to be tested as you get to the end. You're going to be tested on different levels, man, which is a good thing. Right? These aspects is the second chapter. Right? So I keep the second chapter. Right? But a lot of guys, they, 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 don't, they think that they were only supposed to be tested when they first came in. Right. So when they test, at the end, things don't happen how they want to. Yeah. Like the scripture say, buy a body and fend it. You know that? They lose their patience. The scriptures say that every work shall be tried, whether right. it's wood, Gold, silver, silver, wood, iron, wood, uh, wood, a, a, stubble, stubble. Yeah, that's true. And that, that's that endure to the end. The same shall be saved. No matter what, endure what the test. No. Do much yeah, tribulation yeah, 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 yeah. shall you enter into the yeah. kingdom of heaven. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 It, it, it ain't the test. You know what the test is even more stronger. Or, 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 or design you more when you by yourself Pounds. at your lowest point. You know what I'm saying? But it's easy to, that's why the Lord said you got to come in one at a time. It's easy, yeah. you know, this brotherhood, yeah, of course, yeah. don't be wrong. But it's easy if you just sit there with a whole hand and walk like that. Yeah, so you fall and the other person put it, pick them up. But now when you by yourself, you got to sit there and put that onus on yourself, like, well, damn, you know. I do a lesson. Ain't nobody gonna know if I don't do a lesson. Exactly. I'm a, right. new, I'm a new younger brother. You know? You be, you'd be surprised. You know, them demons might get on you. I'm a younger brother. So I can post you. I can play Call of Duty instead of doing a lesson or whatever. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not it said, and I said, speak on my part, and he said unto me, the sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. It says, but put the entrance were narrow, like a river. Right, and that's talking about the truth and the path to get into the kingdom of heaven. But now he said, put the, the difference, that the path to get to there was a narrow path. Right. It says, who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to uh, rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? Right, so you can't get to the kingdom of heaven, the, the sea, the broad sea, unless you go through that narrow passage. And then it, the passage is so narrow that you only go in one by one. So, and that's why that goes with Matthew, the seventh chapter, into, into the end. Okay, yes, I have. Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. gate, for wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. See, into ye in at the straight gate, that narrow passage. So that's the way you got to come into this thing. And a lot of a lot of guys try to come a different way. They try to make, like you said, they they, have, they might sell this, but then they want to go and establish their own rights, just like the scripture said. Now you got going through the straight gate. You got to deal with the like like uh, I'll give you a case an example. Um, what's this dude from the ISPK? Cesaria. Now he, he first was following GMS, right? The brothers on a war and all them brothers out there in Mississippi, they used to deal with him on the phone and everything. He was coming down to the GMS camp, but you know, especially back then, he had all that heat on us. I don't know if that was around the year slut time, and yeah, right. Let me take that period. So he goes about the whole rape thing, yeah, or the rape thing and all that rape doctrine, you know. So so he kept walking to to uh, Johanna. And, because why? It was a broader, broader entrance. They were accepting it, anybody. You see, with GMS, you're going to be scrutinized, you're going you're gonna to be required to work, and you're required to, you know, you can't just, just be a slacker. You know, you got to get to, you know what I'm saying? So he, he didn't go through it, he chose the broad way. 
All right? He would say different now. I'm just using him as an example. There's other people that do the same thing. All right? But the scriptures say you're supposed to enter in at the straight gate. Go ahead. Yep. It says, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Right. Wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth into destruction. And amongst these other Israelite camps, you got they accept anybody. Right? Anybody, like, even, you know, I just, you can't just speaking of facts. They basically let everybody into their uh, to their Passovers and stuff, which I don't know if they had, if they were able to have it. You know what I'm saying? But they invited everybody to their Passover, which you're not supposed to do. That's off, man. The scriptures say, "Wide is the what?" We got to get this. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And broad is the way that leadeth into destruction. So you go into them broad, which churches is the same thing, right? Everybody accepted. They got open doors. They just want to get you in there. And take your, your, your money, your yeah. tights, your offering, whatever you can do for the church. You know, that's what they want to do. They, they ain't, they ain't going to feed you uh, with no true knowledge, with some understanding. They're not going to prepare you on the, 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 uh, the instruction that's coming. They're not going to have to let you know what to do when they come at you with the mark of the beast. Hell, they're not even going to tell you what the mark of the beast is. Right. You see what I'm saying? But they're going to take your money. They're going to pass that pot around, right? They're going to have this fund, the building fund. All kind of different funds, right? Right. Plane. Yeah, plane fund. We gonna get our own private jet. So the coronavirus goes to our own traveling. Yep. Says, uh, and many there be which go in direct. And many there be that go in direct. So that's why you can't go. See, a lot of people they size us up. They like, nah. You know what? We ain't dealing with GMS. Y'all just a small group. I look at uh, these other group, IC, IC and IHBK, you know, the other different groups that's out there. Yeah, they got the uniform, they all wear the same color. They got a big, you know, that's power they do the, they do the march. march. Yeah. You know, the big marching and shit. But the Lord told us to just be going marching for nothing. You know? When the apostles did that, they didn't decide yeah. to do that. Now, now during it, uh, the Joshua, right, we was the wall of Jericho. But what, that ain't the walls of Jericho, man. And if that's the case, where they horn, they're supposed to blow their horn, and the walls are supposed to come down. They're supposed to be out there in seven days, right? Not just for show, or Facebook, or, or for cameras, for clout. So people sit there and say, hey, them, them brothers are body. Vain glory. Vain glory. So now you got your props. Yep. Instead of the most high, you how about you now try getting his glory. Right. So right. I see why the Lord likes the small numbers. Right. Yep, the small numbers. Yep. So, verse verse right. 14, because straight is the gate, and now it is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. And that's straight up. Straight is the gate, that's the way that leadeth unto life. All right, so when you, you, you see us, speak, see it ain't that many people, don't don't judge us off of that. Not if you want the truth. All right? Okay, yep. Back in 2 Ezra chapter 7, verse 7. Okay. The entrance thereof is narrow, and it's set in a dangerous place to fall, like, like as if there were fire on the right hand, and, the, and on the left a deep water. Right, so that's that, that passage, meaning you can't even you can't go to the right or the left. You can't you can't look back. Like once you come into this truth, you gotta go straight ahead, man. And, and you got all kind of different things, temptations that'll bring you bring you out the way off the path. You gotta pray to the Lord that you don't fall into the fire, nor you fall into the water and drown. You know, which is basically this wicked ass world, man. This world is this world is sucked. Suck the truth out of a lot of brothers, man. Right. Between the world and the, and the woman, yeah. they don't suck the, suck the truth right out of brothers, man. You know? Right. Verse 8 And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Right, one man at a time. So that's why we were saying earlier when you by yourself, that's when you really gotta watch yourself, man. You gotta get on your own self. Sometimes some brothers are used to brothers, you know, they are you know, study the scriptures when they body self, they don't even think like that. Now you gotta have to learn how to self-govern yourself with your spirit. That's perfect. Verse 9. 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 That's perfect, man. You should be your worst critic. You know? You should be getting on yourself, man. That's that's developing a fear of the Lord. Having a conscience, man. Like man, then now I could have I knew I said Went to the camp, man. I got caught up in some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, so the, the brothers they was filming, 
you know what I'm saying, to the bread, to the stuff, to the, you know what I'm saying, and certain other things, you gotta, you know, have that fear. You know, that, that brother may, I should have known he needed some money to get something to eat or whatever. You know what I'm saying? These are things you gotta have a fear of. Examine that. Examine yourself. Don't just be a, a fucking blockhead, a brick and screw. Everything is just today, shallow on my. Right, right, right. looking like damn, bro. We ain't seen you in a month. That's a, you, you ain't even noticed that. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's been that long? Okay. How y'all doing? What's going on? You know, you can't be a. Heavy cloud. Yeah, had a damn fucking dickhead. You know? Or air, 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 Nope. You can't come around uh, the possible elders and the brothers that's doing the work. Right. And they're doing super Israelite. You don't get when you go home. The truth is completely gone from your head, man. You know? You don't pray. You don't study. Which I got to start studying more myself. But you got to pray. You got to study. You got to get them shows in, man. And brothers, you got to pray, man. Men ought to pray. Always. Pray without ceasing. You know? Yeah, yeah, that, that's real because you have some guys that have that mentality that only the, the apostles could get on or elders could get on. You know, I remember when he ain't around no more. You know, when them brothers, the Texas brothers is out here, they'll tell you, in, in the spirit of being an apostle, why am I to see it? The new element, which we ain't know, we thought he was a cool, regular brother, and, you know, how he, he was dealing with us. Then they, they, they had issues going on, and they were saying that, you know, we get ready to go that night. You got to go get something, something to eat or whatever. Then they, they had a little breakout or whatever. And they were trying to talk to him about the shit he was doing, how he offended brothers. Right, and he right, said, right. He, he told them, he said, if I'm doing something, if I'm going off with the, the, the elders stuff, yeah, that's what he said. So let the elders stuff. They got stuck down and said that they did it. You know, and that, that was, and basically, I was just sitting back, especially, I, you know, I said, let the, you know, and, and, uh, the elder y'all do one, but, Brother, he cornered that motherfucker like a rat. You know how a rat go, go trying to get the fuck out of Dodge or a cat. He cut off everything. Like, I was just listening to you just being calm. And he was just excited. What about that? What about that? And I was like, okay, I said, he was right. Spirit, and then he came, he got me mad. He said, look, I'm going over to the box and stuff. That was respect. That was out. Then I said, yeah, then I said, no, the brother, you fucking going off, right? Yeah. I like the scripture say be subject to one another. I mean, there's an order, a rank that you gotta respect the, the order or whatever. Most side, you can't just like the one. Hey, this elder brother uh, uh, just said it, man. Elder Gad just said it, man. What Paul said, not not just in my uh, uh, in my presence, but much more in my absence. Right? That's that's real deal because you can't just because the apostles is there, you wanna act, you know, get on on point. You gotta be on point the whole nine, the whole nine yards. You know? Oh, okay, yep, yeah, okay, bring it, bring, let it rip. Alright, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, just read close it out. Okay, not as not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, so, you know, so, hey, when, even when brothers is amongst, you know, by yourselves, man, you're supposed to work out your own salvation, do what you're supposed to do, man, and not just in the presence of the elders, okay, in the brotherhood, okay? That's why, um, going, going back to second, uh, second edge of seven, you know, uh, one man can go in but at a time, so you gotta work out your own salvation, okay? Yeah. Can't no other man save you, right? With that, we're going to say, oh, praise be to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahwe